Hey guys, this is SHT here, and in this episode, I'm gonna be covering the M26 mass attachment. So, without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Okay, the M26 mass. You first unlock this gun or unlock this underbarrel shotgun attachment at 18,000 points, and this is exclusive to the Medics class. And I know a lot of you guys know about this attachment already because this was in Battlefield 3, but there are some changes into it. First of all, if you use this gun for standalone or stand this attachment for standalone, you get this tiny uh, red dot sight for default, so there's no ugly iron sights anymore, just like Battlefield 3. So that's a good thing about this gun, and also. This gun has a very generous round of 5 rounds and plus 1 or 6 rounds total. And plus, since this gun do not reload by each pellet to pellet, this gun actually reloads by one big magazine. So if it runs out or if you use everything, you just reload all together and you can use it 5 rounds and 6 rounds. So it is a, it is a pretty good uh, under barrel to use and this is also one of my go-to shotgun whenever I do not feel like using pistol in a close range because if you use this shotgun you can actually kill a guy in the close range with just one shot so it is a pretty good attachment. But to counteract that overpowering this one shot kill in close range, the dice actually lowered the rounds per minute to 100 rounds per minute instead of, I don't know, 150 rounds per minute. I think it was 150 rounds per minute in Battlefield 3. But now they reduced the 100 rounds per minute to reduce that overpoweredness of this shotgun. And I completely agree about that because, you know, if you shoot this gun faster, it's gonna get overpowered and everyone's gonna start using this underbarrel attachment as their main weapon. And I think they did a pretty good job for it. But anyway. I'm going to talk about the different types of ammunition for this shotgun, which is a buckshot, dart, slug, and frag rounds, and I'm going to be giving you some advice for each of them, because it has a very different characteristics for each. Okay, now let's first talk about the buckshot. Well, since I was not able to find the status of the shotgun in Synthic.com, I actually tested it out by myself. And <laughs> in my result, or this can be really inaccurate though, so just this is not the complete result, so whenever I get my real result on Synthic.com, I'll try to update this result, so... Anyway, this gun shoots 6 to 11 pellets with buckshot, which isn't that bad, and it actually, it is quite a lot, and especially for underbarrel attachment, it is quite a lot of pellets, so that's a good thing. And yeah, like I said, one shot in close quarter gunfights, and, but if you want to engage guys in a middle range, you're not going to have a lot of fun with it, because since it's a buckshot, you shoot a little bit more pellets, and the spread is kind of, you know, not accurate, so you really don't want to engage in anything in a middle range, but it's going to do more damage in the close range than the frag, not a frag round, start round, so if you want to use this underbarrel attachment just for the close range only, I'm going to suggest for you to use this buckshot as your main attachment. And now for the dark shot, yeah, I, I don't know why, but it should say 6 to 11 pellets, and I don't know why, but <laughs> it just did, so I'm just gonna put it 6 to 11, but I guess they have a less damage though, in middle range. So dark shot, if you use this attachment, you actually get a tighter spread than the buckshot attachment, so if you wanna use the dark shot, or if you wanna engage guys uh, in the close and the middle range, it should be a pretty good choice to use the dark shot as your main attachment. So again, if you just wanna engage guys in the close range, I'm just gonna suggest for you to use a buckshot in close range, because it just does a higher damage and dark shot does more damage in the middle range and actually in this gameplay here you're gonna see me using the dark shot attachment and you're gonna see me engaging guys in a pretty long range and i was able to kill the guys in just one shot so it's pretty I, that was pretty cool so <laughs> but anyway now let's talk about the ugly side of this weapon and first one is a slug Somehow I really was not able to enjoy the slug because first of all it is not one shot slug You have to kill enemies in two shots which is quite a lot and the only way to engage guys with one shot is to get a headshot with it But it is really hard to get a headshot and also if you engage guys in very very extreme ranges You're gonna have to put three shots in and that is freaking insane Especially for slugs that have a very very slow bullet velocity, it is really really hard to engage guys in a long range. So, I was not able to have a lot of fun with this attachment. So, if you still want to use it, yeah, you can go ahead and try to do it. And also, if you use a slug, it is not accurate. I'm just telling you right now. If you want to use slug or middle range, you're not going to have a lot of fun with it. In fact, if you look at this gameplay, I was completely uh, like not having fun, in, especially in the close range, I would actually register one shot into the enemy, but they'll just kill me right away because since this gun has a really slow rate of fire, it is really pretty much not possible to engage guys in a close range unless they're completely oblivious. And the ugliest of all is a frag round, and this is 
I'm not even joking. This is like the worst gun ever. So if you wanna like challenge yourself for this gun, yeah, you should definitely try out frag round because this is okay, really, really bad. <laughs> okay, so it's just one round, but the special about the frag round is that it does a splash damage, but it only does a five splash damage. Then that's not it. And since this gun only has six freaking rounds, it is really not possible to kill guys even in the close to middle range. And also this gun has a very, very, very ultra slow bullet velocity. Like if you want to engage guys in middle range, you're gonna have to wait like 10 seconds, literally 10 seconds to kill a guy in the middle range because the bullets shoot so slow. And also if you direct impact the guy, you get 20 damage. That's it. Yeah, that's freaking it. That's pretty much it. That's it. <laughs> so really, I really do not recommend you using your frag rounds. I really do not, was not able to have any kills from this attachment. Uh, maybe it's just me, but also the cursor changes, same as the slug round. I forgot to talk about that. The cursor where a slug and the frag round changes whenever you change the attachment. So it is not that bad because since it's a slug and a frag, it kind of makes sense. So just letting you know. <laughs> and yeah, so that's our frag rounds and I think that's it guys um, so again what I recommend you doing using is a buckshot for a close range a dark shot for middle range but if I had to pick only one attachment I would just pair a dark shot because sometimes I would just want to engage guys in a close and a middle range and since the dark shot already has the potential to kill guys in the one shot in a close range too I would just use a dark shot to be honest because it gives you a tighter spread so if you want to engage guys in middle range I would just use a dark shot as the main attachment so I think that's it guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this weapon guide and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye!